Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the top seven reasons why you should consider Spotswood, New Jersey for your next move. Check it out. My name is Claudia Munez and I'm a real estate agent with Move with Munez, brokered by eXp Realty. For those of you who don't know, Spotswood is a small town just shy of two and a half square miles and it's smooshed between Old Bridge, Monroe, Helmetta, and East Brunswick. It was originally settled in 1685 by a man named James Johnston, who originally named it Spottiswood after his town in Scotland. It's located in Middlesex County, and it has a lot of history as well as a lot to offer, and we'll get into those reasons now. Reason number one to consider Spotswood for your next move is it has great accessibility to a lot of different things. Spotswood is close to Route 9, Route 18, and the Turnpike, so it offers commuters a variety of transportation options. There's no shortage of fun near Spotswood. You can be at several different parks within 10 minutes, including Thompson Park of Jamesburg, which has a dog park, fields, trails, soccer fields, uh, disc golf, just a whole lot of activities, as well as Mundy Ave Park, which is a little bit smaller, but it's across from the lake, which has a beautiful view, and it has a little playground and some basketball courts. If you're looking to drive a little bit further, within 30 minutes you can be at Six Flags, the beach, or several other different attractions and activities for you and the family. Reason two to consider Spotswood is the variety of housing options. If you're someone who prefers a unique home that doesn't necessarily match your neighbor's house, Spotswood might be a good option for you. There's a home in virtually every style and every budget here in town. Whether you're looking for a condo, townhouse, single family, or a property in an active 55 and older community, there's something here for everyone. As of July 7th, 2021, active listings currently range from 230,000 to 899,000, showing that there's a home in virtually every budget for everyone's taste here. The median sales price for single family homes in the area is 335,000. That's lower than the state and the county median, which is 435,000 thus proving that Spotswood can be a more affordable option depending on what you're looking for. Reason number three to consider Spotswood is the variety and food options we have here. Whether you want a burger, sushi, pizza, Portuguese barbecue, or pretty much anything you can think of, it's either a short drive or a quick phone call away. Some of my favorites are MJ's, Shanghai, La Familia, El Mexicano, Otilia's, Ralph's, and Amici Bakery. Um, that is not an inclusive list of everything we have around here, and um, it'll probably take you a while to go through them all. I certainly haven't done it yet. Reason number four to consider Spotswood is they are dedicated to improvement. When I moved into the neighborhood a few years ago, the roads were riddled with potholes and we had no curbs. Literally, if you had rocks in the front of your house, they were just going into the street or your grass would go right up to the edge of the road. So it wasn't fun living in a construction site all of last summer, but now we have beautiful paved roads with beautiful curbs and the kids can ride their skateboards down it with no problem and I don't have to worry about blowing out a tire. More recently though, the town has received a grant to rejuvenate DeVoe Lake. It really doesn't look like much now, but once it's back up and running, it's a beautiful scenic area where you can walk around, enjoy the scenery from Monday Ave Park, or sit down and have a picnic at one of the picnic tables. Some folks are even lucky enough to have the lake in their backyard where they can enjoy fishing, canoeing, kayaking, and just the overall beautiful scenery. Nobody likes having to watch their back while they're bringing in their groceries or worry about their kids playing down the street. Which brings me to reason number five people may consider Spotswood for their next move, which is the safety. According to AreaVibes.com, Spotswood is 58% safer than other cities of New Jersey and 74% safer than other cities in the nation. In fact, your overall odds of being a victim of any type of crime in Spotswood is 1 out of 154. Based on a poll of the town Facebook group, residents agree that they love this area because they feel it is safe for them and their families. Reason 6 to consider Spotswood is it's a small town. If you're relocating from the city and looking for an area with those quaint small town vibes, you'll find exactly that here in Spotswood. There's a close-knit feel with a lot of opportunity for community involvement as well as getting to know one another. 
Despite it being a small town, Spotswood does maintain its own elementary, middle, and high school, which is atypical of towns this size and noteworthy. For example, Woodbridge, New Jersey, which is about a half an hour north, is comprised of 10 smaller towns, some of which are comparable in size to Spotswood, and yet they all share one Woodbridge High School. Maintaining its own school system allows Spotswood to perpetuate those quaint small town vibes. Last but not least, reason number seven to consider Spotswood is the amenities. For being as small as it is, Spotswood does certainly pack a punch with their amenities. As I mentioned in reason six, we do have our own school system as well as our own grocery store, police force, coffee shops, and other amenities. And as if that wasn't enough, we do neighbor towns that offer a variety in restaurants, activities, and other amenities, so you really aren't going to miss anything. <laughs> I grew up in a town where the local mall was a 30 minute drive, so being within 10 to 15 minutes of anything I can think of is super refreshing. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are the top seven reasons why you should consider Spotswood, New Jersey for your next move. Let me know in the comments which reason stuck out to you guys the most. If you are considering making a move, I've included two guides in the description. One is my home buyer guide and the other is staging your home to sell. Finally, if you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button as well as subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. In next week's video, I'll be interviewing my personal financial guru, Sunit Patel, where he's going to be sharing some tips on saving for a down payment, boosting your credit, and more. Stay tuned for that video next week. See you guys soon.